The 12 houses in astrology. Massive, huge topic. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Miglena. I'm your astrologer from Astrology Consult. And today I'm going to do a book review for you for a book called The 12 Houses, written by Howard Sasportas. The book was published in 1985 originally. And, you know, the influence of this book, you can still feel it. It's recognized by history and it's not going to go away because the influence Howard Sasportas has on modern astrology is immense. So um, Goodreads give 4.4 stars recognition out of 920 reviews and Amazon gives 4.8 stars out of uh, more than 600 reviews. So this already tells you uh, the quality of the content is just amazing. So, um, quickly about the book, definitely an excellent starting point for newbies and a textbook for experienced astrologers. You know, we're talking about modern psychological read of uh, astrology and the significance of the chart. I keep it, uh, it, you know, my copy is very rough. I keep it near me, so I go back to it from time to time. You can... You can see that I've been reading this book a lot, you know, and every time I go back to it, there is a new dimension about the position that I'm researching, you know, it's just amazing. First part of uh, talks about um, technical part of forming the 12 houses, explaining why there are 12 houses, the f philosophical view behind it, and also the logical view. So you, you're going to enjoy this. It's very... Um, nicely written and in understandable way. In the second part of the book, you will find detailed explanation of each astrological house, what it represents and how it influences us as individuals. Then you'll find a lot of information in this part and discover new things about the houses that you didn't suspect. Take your time. You know, when reading it, take your time and let the information sink in and um, truly absorb the content. Don't read it like in one one go because it's easy to, to be read, but just don't do it. Appreciate it. Here you read about mythology, always a strong presence in a psychological uh, astrology. Um, there is a lot of psych psychology as well. Howard Sasportas is... Uh, an, uh, an educated uh, psychologist or was I should say because he died unfortunately and in book two uh, reading about uh, the houses and what re they represent um, you will find examples of planetary positions already and the influence of the sign so um, a lot to, to sink in the third part of the book is the actual treasure, however. Here lays the wisdom of the author. This part is dedicated to each planet and uh, its meaning when in a particular house. Very well written again, explaining all aspects of the planet and its influence into their respective house. However, I should warn you, the sign uh, is not recognized here. But nevertheless, a valuable read. You know, the sign would give an additional flavor. But that's a that, that's a, you know another topic that builds on. It even talks about the intercepted signs. Okay, so there there is a, a portion of the book that is dedicated to intercepted signs, which is rare and not a lot of people talk about it and what it actually means. Also, it explains how the aspects influence the planet in house which uh, something we need to keep in mind. Okay, so it talks about this as well. As well. And me personally, what I like is that the ascendant by sign, so you, here you have first house in Libra, for instance, and then the seventh house in Aries and what it means. So this is again a rare, uh, a rare find and not too many people explain ascendant and descendant in this way but here it's uh, basic it's understandable and it makes sense also there is an example uh, examples included to illustrate the point so uh, Sasportas will talk about actual people with 
uh, short stories who have these positions. And uh, finally, there are a couple more parts of the book, despite the fountain of wisdom so far, but I'm not going to reveal them. You have to do this on your own. So let me know what you think about the book or about this review. And thank you for watching.